Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, hi, my name is Adriana. How you doing? And if you're just coming back, what's good friend? How you doing? Um, so as we all sit in quarantine and have nothing to do, I thought I would come on here and tell you guys some of my favorite animes. That way you guys could probably go and watch it if you want to. Now, most of these aren't in any particular order. I love all of these animes and it was really hard for me to pick five off of my anime list. Although number one, I think it's pretty obvious what number one is by my background, but um, number one was a very easy one for me. But every five through two is in no particular order. They're just kind of there. Number five is Fruit Basket 2019. Um, I never seen the original Fruit Basket. I'm sorry. I've just never seen the original Fruit Basket. I've wanted to watch this anime forever and I just never got around to it. And then I saw on Twitter that they remastered it and I was like, oh my gosh, the characters look so cute and good. Oh my god. Then I went to MEPS. Um, if you don't know, I'm joining the Air Force. I'll have a playlist of my Air Force uh, journey up here somewhere but anyway I watched it when I was at MEPS and I watched it throughout the whole thing and it was just such a good anime I was so happy I was sad all of the feelings that I could feel was felt during this anime this anime follows three people Toru Honda and then uh, Yuki and Kyo Soma Kyo Soma um, they're basically, it's basically about, uh, the animal Zodiac, and it's just a nice, cute little anime about these teenagers and their struggles and all of that. I think it's, I think it's a really good anime, and if you want something that, uh, that has a kind of dark twist at the end, I definitely would recommend it. <laughs> The fourth anime that I think that people should watch uh, during this quarantine is Death Parade. Uh, yeah, that show is crazy. It follows uh, basically two characters. Uh, the girl is Chiyuki and I think the guy's name is pronounced Desum. I don't really remember. It's been a minute since I watched it. Yeah, so the show basically is like everybody dies, but you go to a bar to find out what's going to happen with your soul. You'll either get reincarnated if you win the game, or you'll be banished to the void if you don't win the game. So, uh, basically that's what that show's about. してるんですか疑わしい人間をマークして最低しているんだあの男はそのうちの一人だっただから観察していたもしかして辰巳さん妹かうんもちろん見ていた <笑>じっと見てた仲間だと思うなんで止めてくれなかったんだ助けたら殺せないだろ So the third anime that I think you should watch, especially if you're into romance, which I am, I'm a big romance lover, uh, it's called Say I Love You. Oh my gosh, I love this anime so much. I watched this anime, I'm 23. I started, I watched this anime in like high school maybe, and I'm still in love with it. I always come back to it. I rewatched it recently. It's just such a good show. It follows Yamato Kurosawa. I think that's how you pronounce his last name. And then a young woman named Tachibana. 
they are just so cute. So Yamato is the, the popular guy, of course, and Mei is the girl that nobody really talks to. Um, she's, she, she just doesn't have friends. She thinks friends are gonna hurt her. She doesn't need friends. And Yamato's like, I could be your friend. Um, but yeah, uh, it's a really good anime and I think it shows two people who want to like each other and it shows their growth. Um, and it's like a day by day type of show. So if you like shows like that, and you like seeing and watching relationships blossom and stuff like that, I would definitely recommend it. Ah, ah, sorry. Really? Oh, you're fine. I think Tachibana is interesting. Interesting? Are you interested in it? No, it's not. Tachibana is like I like to 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 Number two that I want to share with you guys is Kimini To Doke. Oh my goodness gracious, I love this show to bits and pieces, okay? But it's also very infuriating. It's so infuriating, okay? Like, you're gonna get mad. You're gonna get mad watching this show because I got mad watching this show. Uh, my friends, when I was snapping her, she was a little irritated with the show because it's just, oh, it's just freaking high schoolers, man. So this show follows named Saoko, Kuronima, and then Shota, what's his last name? Kazahaya. Shota Kazahaya. Bro, these two are great. I love them to bits and pieces, but I just wanted to smack them sometimes because it was just like, bro, communicate. That's the problem with the show. They did not communicate with each other. If they would just stop and talk, then maybe and not just straight talk like just not just because they did that one time but they weren't explaining themselves if they would explain themselves there i guess there wouldn't be a show because they the, the show would be over because everybody would have been known what the feelings were so Salko is known as sadako because she has this very ghostly appearance and she wants she wants to make friends so bad but she she, she looks scary and people she looks like the girl from The Grudge, and you know, she tries so hard, you know, but it's, it's just, it's just her vibe, um, but sometimes she smiles, and when she smiles, it's the best thing ever, and Shoda is just, uh, he just falls in love with her, and it's just such a freaking good show, okay, it's such a good show. If you really like romance, definitely watch it, it's gonna make you angry, because it made me angry, it might not make you angry. Cause we're not the same person but i feel like it would make you angry so go ahead and check it out man just just go ahead and check it out let me know what you think oh, どうせなら風早く? <laughs> わ、私、私でいいのかな。いいじゃん。いいから盛り上がってるから今すぐ来いって。龍、一人で可哀想だから来てって。だけど来てほしい。So my number 1 is Inuyasha. Okay, if you've never seen Inuyasha before, I don't know what to say to you because it's like iconic. Um, I have so many things. Do you see Shishomaru right here chilling? Like, he's my favorite character, and I can tell you why. But that could, it's, the video is going to get far too long for that. Just know he has the best character development in this entire anime. Actually, Inuyasha is a set in, well, <laughs> it kind of bounces back and forth between uh, modern day Japan, like in 2000. The manga is 1996, but the anime itself is like 
2000. So it bounces back between modern day Japan and feudal era Japan. Um, it's crazy. Uh, basically, it uh, is about Kagome Higarashi and Inuyasha doesn't have a last name. <laughs> um, basically, Kagome is a reincarnation of a priestess named Kikyo. Kikyo's trash. If you like Kikyo, explain yourself in the comments down below because I don't understand. She is captured by a demon in the bone ears, well, in her shrine, and is sucked down into the feudal era of Japan. She's able to get there because she has a thing in her called the uh, Shikon Jewel. It's in her yada yada yada. Basically, she frees Inuyasha from the sacred tree from an arrow that Kikyo shot him with. Uh, she takes it out. He saves her. And then, uh, Kagome kind of shoots the Shikon Jewel. And it shatters into like millions of pieces probably like a couple hundred pieces <sighs> maybe even less it looks like a lot of pieces but there's only so many episodes so it's like well it's not really that many pieces you know what i mean but also the villain naraku uh kind of collects some of them too so we really don't know how many pieces it uh shattered into if you know the number leave it down in the comments below but basically it shatters into a million pieces after Gugome shoots it after trying to save after trying to kill something I think it was a bird and that's how their journey begins and they go on a journey and where they meet different comrades Moroku, Sango, Shippo uh, they become a little group um, it's basically kind of like a travel story with romance action humor it has it all. Okay, it has it all. It also has Shishomaru. This is Shishomaru. Lord Shishomaru. Oh my gosh. I love this guy. I love this man. He's just... Chef Kiss. It's a fox. Not likely, Yoga. I'm trying to teach him a lesson. And actually, if you want to read some things that I wrote, I have a fan fiction. Um, and I wrote a story, including Shishomaru and the OC that I created, Ginger. But anyway, uh, those are my top five animes that I think you should watch during this quarantine that we're going through. Um, if you agree or you have any other suggestions of animes that you think people should watch, go ahead and comment down below. Some other things that I didn't talk about was Blue Spring Ride. Be tuned. Blue Exorcist. Go off, you know? Watch what you want to watch. These are just my opinions on my animes that I like. But like I said, if you have any other anime suggestions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm trying to post every other day. I just need five more people to subscribe to my channel before I hit 200 subscribers it would be great if i can reach 200 subscribers before april 28th when i leave for basic trading so please uh and all my social media will be down below that fan fiction that i was talking about including lord shishomaru will also be down in the description below also some other writings that i do uh please check it out you know i went to college for writing so hopefully you like it um and hopefully i did good but anyways, I hope you have a good day, a good morning, good whatever, and I will see you guys later. Bye.